In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. You know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. <laughs> Let's go. Our what the oh, it's here for them show. Yeah. Popular YouTuber. Oh, she's a stream. Oh, she streams too on YouTube. Live streams on YouTube actually is pretty hard to find unless you're already sub to that channel. But <gasps> the Bikomachi, the legendary. <laughs> He's a veteran in the idol, <laughs> you know, in the. Th <laughs> Young kids don't know about this, but Boomer left. He was always there. Was he there in episode one? Oh shit, no way. What if he's the dad? No, it's not the dad, right? Unless. <laughs> dedicated fans. <laughs> Look at Kana, the center. They're seen as special. The special stick? I didn't know there's like a meta tier list in the colors of these glow sticks that people bring to idol. What? This is like the most coveted color? Oh shit, here we go! I want everyone to start going like, I, I, I! Kana! Oh, the sad thing is, I won't be able to include this in the YouTube video, because like. Actual NB like songs like this, I get copyright like uh, uh claims. Her eyes are kind of pretty dead though, you know. Where's the white stick? Aqua might have the white stick, and he might be around, right? I'm expecting a moment where she's all depressed and just like monologuing like this. You know, don't know, you know, brightness in her eyes, but then looks into the crowd, sees Aqua there as her fan with the glowing white stick, and then maybe she's gonna pop off. <laughs> so harsh! My standard for B Komachi. I know they're better than this. Rupee's kind of there! I think he realized too. Yeah, he changed his tune, see? Yeah! Wait, is that it? No, we gotta have more than one song, right? Look! <laughs> He's blushing, dude! <laughs> <laughs> Boss is a kind of a pushover. As soon as he started Ruby, he's like, oh shit, is that I? But. Huh. Even though she's not the center, everybody's just drawn to Ruby. She is enjoying this. Well, technically, this is her actual dream, though. Is this the one that I was always performing in episode one? This is the one, yeah. And then it goes, choo! <laughs> Wait for it. Oh, I cut off. Flashback? More depressing flashback right now? No, this is just to build more of like, you know, to understand like Kana's like a uh, backstory so that we can really feel bad for her. She's in the lowest of the lows. She's so afraid of failure. But at this point when she doesn't expect anything, I think she'll do really well. Aqua, where are you? Yeah, Aqua! Oh! I told you! He would have the fucking stick! Oh, he's got multiple sticks. <laughs> no! He's doing the dance! Remember in episode one? The baby started doing the dance, but it's gotten even better. <laughs> Everybody in the crowd was so shocked. Bro, he's triple wielding two in one hand. But one single one for Kana, because that's the one that's the most special. Here it comes, where it? Shoo! There it is. Oh? Oh? Woo! I should have brought up fucking uh, glow stick lights and started doing the dance too. Damn. I should have practiced the choreography before the finale. <laughs> Boss has no words. He is just shocked. This is the second coming of B. Komachi. Look at Kana. She's all there. Her eyes are actually, you know, lit. Star. I like to think that I is watching from above. Hmm. Kind of awkward. Oh, she might be a little embarrassed. Cause Kana did kind of like wink right at Aqua, right? And then Aqua was like, "Whoa, shit." Uh, it was good. <clears throat> so, uh, 
you got you wanna go on a date. It was alright for your first time. It looked pretty good. Not special, but yeah. More. More. So strict, but you know, you can't just give it a perfect 100 right away. You gotta make her work for it. A little bit on the rough edges, cause you know, Akane, Aqua Kiss. <laughs> no, why are you bringing that up? <laughs> oh, wait, this might actually work out well. Okay, clear things up. Okay, but it's just work. It's not genuine. <laughs> she got so excited there, she's like, just work? Oh shit, I'm in. Time to be a tsundere. Says you! This is nice to see Kana though. Like, she hasn't done this kind of stuff in a while because she's just been so out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Mem! So slow! I thought if anyone Mem would have realized a long time ago because she's like pretty quick with this, but... Mem, you can be in there too, maybe? Oh, oh, she's like, fuck yes, I'm still in the game, baby. <laughs> Who am I supposed to root for? I think I'm going to root for Kana. That backstory, they've been, they've known each other since they were kids. It's just, wait, <laughs> as soon as I say that, don't give me some Akane shit that's going to make me feel for her. Oh, what's going on now? Huh? Maybe. To talk to you about bell peppers. <laughs> it's to fucking get you into it again, because we're out of it. Yeah, it was for you. So that you could perform well. You're being so emo. <laughs> Yo, Kana is getting a lot of dubs this episode. Holy. Technically, it's been like fucking 10 episodes of L, 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 but pretty good now. What do you mean? This is just Pion's voice. You think it's gross? That nah, probably just sounds like Mickey Mouse. Yeah, it was just for the sake of my little sister, not you. Maybe. Aqua being a little tsundere too. I mean, he kind of is if you think about it, right? You're running away from Kana. <laughs> Little bit. He's gotta be embarrassed, right? There's no way he's not. He's trying to hide it. He's like, no, just play cool. Just play cool. Oh, the dark star is out. But it's in a comic coma, so it's not that bad. They're kind of just like bickering. Like a married couple. You know, I, I, maybe Kana Aqua ship is the real ship. Because, like, does he see Kana as just like a work relationship? Like, just treating her well so that Ruby's performance would do well. I think there's a little bit more to it than that. Yeah, like what Ruby's saying right now. La la la. Isn't that one of the company, the theater company that I was there and met her first, like, boyfriend there, right? That's where our next lead is. So it does make sense that Aqua will obviously be in this. No! Oh, Kana, don't look at it! Fake Instagram pictures! Oh no. Oh, Memcho stories up there. Ah, damn, Akane's hair is looking pretty good. I like the way it's tied up in the back. Oh my god. How could someone that fell in love with I like this? Maybe I was being manipulated and she was not aware that she was being manipulated. But how could somebody that fell in love with her like treat her so badly? What the fuck happened? Wow. With the main characters? <laughs> no, they're lovers. Yo, Kana gotta get in this too. Can Kana somehow like secure a role and like compete with uh, Akane in the show? <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing? Yuria too? Oh, BL angle. Never mind. We're going Yaoi. His associate. Who? Who is that? Who that? What if Kana is Tsurugi? It doesn't make sense to. What? Ooh. 
<laughs> she was fucking the stalking this refresh refresh then she posted it there it is i mean you're kind of the stalker here but damn kind of coming in hot she is here to compete did you secure a role too though kind of did you secure a role she is <laughs> so associate there are rivals in the past i've never seen akane like this before ever <laughs> this is so passive aggressive man <laughs> oh my god don't need to shit on each other so hard yo when girls fight shit gets fucking psychological man it's like it gets personal <laughs> Guys will just like fight, like physically fight for a bit, and then they'll kind of like hug it out at the end, even though they just like were punching each other. Girls will like fucking do research on your life. Get fucking, they'll get personal. They go deep in that shit. Look how much she's shaking right now. Oh my god, dude, this is scary. But they were rivals in the past. Oh, interesting. The plot is fucking getting deep. <laughs> not happening. <laughs> There's not not only is there just like a natural rivalry between the two, but you know, over Aqua now too. It's like <laughs> Dude, this is the perfect storm. Gift the child actor. She was, yeah. She respects her. <laughs> Yo, the bell pepper exercise is very good. Don't shit on it. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of scaring me now, man. But this is getting way more interesting. <laughs> In terms of what? In terms of fucking winning over Aku or the, you know, becoming a better actor. This is gonna get pretty good. Damn. Aku has to choose between the ya the BL route or Akane. And... Oh! Purple hair, dude. Oh, wait! He's the guy that, um... What's like a douchebag in our first gig with Kana, right? I think. I think so. Maybe he's gonna come back to the Tokyo Blade? I think that was a stalker! I don't know. Wait, wait, wait! The guy in front of the computer was a stalker guy. There's too many characters going on right now. Let's go, Mem. Don't, don't fucking. Don't give me this shit now! But it's okay, move on. We moved on. Who could it be? I don't know. I still hope that someone from episode one, because that would just blow my mind. Someone that we already know. I will. Fall in love with Kana, who is a boy in the show. BL Yaoi time! Hands down, the best seasonal anime this season. Demon Slayer fans are gonna fucking hate me for this, but I think Oshinoko came out of nowhere. Episode 1 was... Dude, it was a movie! I was not expecting that shit. I thought it was gonna be a 20-minute episode that I might keep watching or it might drop, but no, I was locked in from the start. Where was it going? Is this an isekai show? Is this a random comedy show about idols? Nah, this is a murder mystery! Man. It was such a good hook. I think everybody was captivated by Oshinoko. And I think this is going to keep doing well. Season 2 is already announced. And I guess the Tokyo Blade arc. I mean, they're already leading towards it, right? right? So I don't know when Season 2 is going to come up. But I'm sure it's going to be the future. Next week, we're going to start a brand new season of anime. Hope to, see, uh, hope to see you guys there. And until next time, take care.